Today I'm going to show how you can easily load historical weather data for any worldwide location and time period into your R analysis. I'll start by going to the Visual Crossing Weather Data download page and logging into my Visual Crossing Weather account. If you don't already have an account, simply sign up for a free trial by clicking on the orange button on the right side of the page. Your free trial account will give you instant access to historical weather data for any location. I'll select the option to manually enter a location for which I want to analyze historical weather data. However, I could instead load in a sheet of addresses or paste in a list as plain text. Although I could manually enter an address, I'll tell the system to use my current location by clicking on the Your Location link. I'll also give the location a name for my own reference in the output data. Next, I'll tell Visual Crossing Weather what type of weather query I want to run. Since I want to analyze weather reports from the past, I'll choose the Historical Data option. Note that this section would allow me to choose other options, such as a forecast query, historical summary reports, or hourly data. These and many other options are covered by our other videos and tutorials. Selecting an historical data query will open up the options panel that allows me to define the parameters of the query. The main option that I need to set is the date range. I'll choose January 1, 2019 as the starting point and December 31, 2019 as the end. There are other options here that I could use to adjust the results, but for this example I'll accept the defaults and simply run the query. If you want more information, these options are also covered by our other tutorials and documentation. Now when I run the weather query, I'll be shown the weather calendar view. I can change to grid view to see more details or download the data as a CSV file. However, instead I'll switch to the API view and copy the query URL. Now I can use this URL to load the weather query result data directly into any R analysis. I'll show you how to do just that by switching to RStudio. First, I'll load the 2019 historical data using the read CSV function and enter the query URL as the source. R will fetch and parse the weather data and I can see the result in RStudio as a data table. You can see that the query returned many weather metrics including temperature, precipitation, and wind speed. These metrics are reported for every day of 2019 just as we requested. I'll quickly show how I can use this data by making a few scatter plots. First I'll attach the table and then create a plot of temperature over the entire data set. I'll select the date and temperature values from the table and then put some basic labels on the axes. When I run the plot you will see that it shows a reasonable annual temperature curve for my location here in Virginia. Next I'll make a similar plot for precipitation. This plot will show the distribution of precipitation across the calendar year 2019. To do so, I'll simply pass the date and precipitation values from the weather data table into the plot command. While it is a bit hard to tell on this simple scatter, if you look closely you can see that my location gets more rainfall in the spring and late summer. Finally, I'll make a plot that shows the wind speed patterns for my location during 2019. Wind speed and wind gust data are valuable in various business cases such as insurance and energy generation. Obviously, we have just scratched the surface on ways to use weather data in R. If you would like to learn more about using Visual Crossing Weather options such as 15-day weather forecasts, loading multiple locations, and using weather data within other analysis tools, please see our other videos. Thanks for watching.